The next repair that we're going to do is a dent or a drag mark. So a dent happens when something compresses right onto the door. A drag mark is when it compresses and then drags a little bit. Now it could be something where they just pulled something over the door or something hit the door and didn't just hit it straight but kind of at an angle. But right here is our dent. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to fill it. We're going to spray some sealer over it. We're going to spray some color over it. Very similar to the scratch. The difference here is it's much more shallow. And when it's shallow, you would think, well, it's easier because it's not as much filler. When it's shallow, it's really hard to get a filler to stick. So what we're going to do is make sure that we sand that area really well. And if we actually have to sand in the dent, if we're able to do that, then we will. The first step, just like before, give it a little bit of quick clean. And again, all you're doing is making sure that any dirt or grease is wiped off the door. The second step, and this time, like I said, is really, really important. We're going to sand that area with the 1,000 grit paper or 800 grit paper. And if I could get inside that dent, I will. Now, some of you out there that have used hard fill before, you may have said to yourself, you know, he's, he's doing a lot of sanding before the fact. And I don't normally do that. I'm telling you the absolute best way to do it. Will you come up with some shortcuts on your own? Sure. But I always do that so I get really good adhesion between the hard fill stick and actually the surface of that finish. Okay, the next step will be to fill that dent with the hard fill stick. Again, I'm going to use the heat iron. Turn it on, it doesn't get hot. Hold it like a pencil, depress the power button, now it's starting to get hot. And again, it'll be hot in about five seconds. We're going to hold the stick really close to the dent. We're going to put a little on there, and then we're just going to spread it around with the knife. I'm actually putting the tip of the knife to the bottom of the dent. The knife is still hot, but there's a little bit of hard fill on. I just want to wipe that off. And you can see I'm using a, a pretty thick towel. It actually discolored the towel because it is that hot. Now what we're going to do is level that hard fill. And we're going to be using the grater. We're going to put that right on top of the fill and drag it. Right on top of the fill and drag it. Please don't go back and forth with it. Please don't get a running start and go at it. Because you may just pop that fill right out. When we're done, we're going to clean the grater with the scraper. Right on top, drag it. Right on top, drag it. There's the hard fill that we picked up. We're going to use the scraper. We're going to get that clean. Now the back part of the scraper, there's a pretty straight edge. You could go over that, put a little bit of pressure, see if you could get any up. I got a little bit of the filler up. So all in all, that's pretty level. Now what I want to do is take, go back to the 800 or 1000 grit paper, put it on a flat block. Again, you could use your fingers if you want, but a flat block will often give you a nice flat fill. And we're just going to sand it. You can see that that's taking up paint as well as the filler. That feels really level. I don't think that we need to sand anymore. And we're going to be ready. The next step will be to start adding some sanding sealer to that. 
As I told you, the next step is sanding sealer. We wiped off all that little sanding dust from the 1000 grit. What that 1000 grit paper did was not only level the hard fill, but it created a whole bunch of little scratches. We're going to use the sanding sealer to fill in some of those scratches, also to seal the hard fill onto the, onto the door. Always give it a quick shake. Always give it a test spray. When I spray this, I'm going to start spraying off the panel, spray on, and then stop spraying off the panel. It's going to look something like this. This goes on very easy. Don't get carried away. Just put one nice coat on and stop. Remember, it'll look good, and it'll look good, and it'll look good, and if you keep spraying, it's going to look worse. So. Let the aerosol do its job and then stop. We're going to have to let this dry right now. Okay, so the sealer is all dry. I gave it a quick feel. It felt a little dusty, a little gritty. Just took the back of the sandpaper. Used the back of the sandpaper to remove that little dust or grit. And now we're ready to add color. You can see that I added a protective piece of paper for the center panel. So we're done with the sealer and we're going to move on to the white color. It's basically going to be the same drill. I'm going to give it a quick shake. I'm going to give it a quick spray. And then I'm going to start spraying again on the left. Pass over. Stop spraying over here. So again, I start spraying here. I stop spraying here. All of my overspray is directed off the panel. Always give it a quick shake for luck. Always give it a quick spray for luck. Actually, you're making sure that is spraying properly. And then I'm just going to give it a quick couple passes. The natural tendency is just to keep spraying because it's all working. Please only give it one coat, let it dry, feel it, and if it needs another coat, give it another coat. But for right now, we're just going to let that dry. Okay, the first coat of the white is all dry. Again, felt just a little bit gritty. Again, I used the back of the sandpaper and just gave it a real easy wipe. That picks up all that gritty. And then I just make sure to wipe all that dust off. Now we're ready for another coat of white. And hopefully this is going to be my final coat. So as soon as I put that white can down, I'm going to pick up the blender. And if I spray a lot of white here and just a little bit here and here, I'm going to make sure to use that blender over those dry areas so you get a nice smooth finish. Give it a quick shake, give it a test spray, and now I'm going to spray. Some of you may say, you know what, I never really used the blender and everything is working fine. You know what, I'm not going to tell you that you're doing it wrong. If you're getting a good result, keep doing it the way you're doing it. If the edges of your spray line feel dry and maybe even a little bit different color, know that that blender is there. The blender overall is going to make the paint dry a little bit slower. That's part of the trick to it. Not only does it blend all those little droplets of paint, it makes them take longer to dry so that they have a chance to flatten out. So it dissolves them a little bit, but part of it is takes longer to dry, lets them level out. 
again, you look at the dent, the dent looks good, it looks gone, you can't see it. It's not really dry yet, so I can't really see if the sheen looks good. But once it's dry, if it looks good, you may want to stop right there. If you want to add a little bit more protection to it, put a clear coat over the white, that's fine. Um, again, we're using a, a satin spray. It's not going to be any different than we've done before. I'm in a real hurry. So you could just fan the finish, get it to dry a little quicker, then you're ready to put the satin on. Once that's dry, if it's the right sheen, you don't feel any grittiness, you're ready to go. And we're done with that dent in the finish.